What's going on guys, Tony here. A uh, quick video on the new iPhone SE 2020 that Apple just announced today. Um, I never thought that Apple would actually release uh, an iPhone, a sub $400 iPhone. So I'm kind of excited about that. Simply, Apple's never done that before, so it's, it's, it's strange. Um, so yeah, this phone is not for people like me who bought the iPhone 11 Pro Max or people who bought the iPhone 11 or people who bought the iPhone 11 Pro. This is for people who did not upgrade, people who still use the iPhone SE, believe it or not, that 4.5 inch display. This is for them. This is for people who still have the iPhone 6S, people who still have the iPhone 7, who just did not want to upgrade to the newer iPhones because they love Touch ID. They didn't want Face ID. So this is Apple res Apple's response to that group of people. Um, so the iPhone SE 2020 does have newer internals. Um, I believe it has the A13 Bionic chip, three gigs of RAM. You know, it has the usual latest uh, software from iOS and wireless charging. It also does support fast charging. And you know, this phone is going to have amazing cameras. So um, I'm kind of impressed that Apple went ahead and released a sub $400 iPhone. It's, it's amazing. I think it's going to definitely be a little beast out there with it, with the cameras and with performance and all that saying that, it, you know, it has the newest uh, Bionic A13 chip on there. So I'm happy that Apple did this. I'm actually picking one up too. I'm going to order one. I don't know what color I want yet. I may go with the, the white and simply because the white one has the all black face. So that kind of reminds me of the iPhone uh, 3GS from back in the days. So it was, the phone was white and the front of the phone was black. So I'm going to rock with it. I'm, I'm going to check it out. I'm definitely going to test those cameras. Out. It's going to be like the main thing is those cameras. That's why I'm going to pick it up. But a lot of people are, you know, they're going to go out and pick this phone up, believe it or not, especially that group of people that did not upgrade. The group of people that still has the SE, the older SE 4.5 inch, the iPhone 6S, the iPhone 7. Those are the people that are going to upgrade to this phone. Um, simply because Apple's dropped the support for those phones this year. So, you know, come September, no more updates for those, for those phones. So this is their, 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 their way of, uh, you know, telling those people to upgrade, but yeah, I think it's going to be a hit, man. It's going to be a little beast, a little beast on the block. And I hope all these other manufacturers follow trend, man. I know Google does. Google's going to release the 4A pretty soon. So that's going to be a nice affordable phone too. These thousand dollar phones are killing me, man. Anyway, stay tuned, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the iPhone SE 2020. It's going to be a little beast on the block. We out.